Well, just an update on the development on the the TNC, trying to get the the um, NASA data and dump it onto the Free Sky, onto the Tranis. Um, it's virtually done. Uh, the only thing I thought I'd do is do a, uh, a a warning LED sort of light show. I don't know. So what we have here is um, from. Where was it? Good luck by, I think it was. Uh, I think these are only about three quid. But the four watt LEDs, there's four colours on there. So, what I've got, if I can hold this and change things, um, I've got it now so as if the voltage drops below a certain amount. So, if I simulate. simulate a uh, low voltage it'll actually it goes absolutely hell you can't even watch these things they're so bright they actually burn your retinas out <laughs> so if it now goes below sort of whatever voltage you actually set um, it actually goes mental, so you can use it as a safe uh, sort of warning. Right, set that back to fifteen hundred on there, and it's just got um, a normal strobe light that you can set whatever interval you want. So yeah, I mean it's all. Well, it's nearly working anyway. Although everything's a complete mess. Well, it's 5am ish. I've um, been upgraded again, uh, upgrading again. Um, I put another uh, V mount diversity on there. It's not very pretty, but it works. I've got a Foxtech uh, 600 milliwatt. Um, you see that transmitter, and I've also got um, 4S batteries now and 9 inch props. So, hopefully, longer flight times, more power. So, oh, I've also got um, some LEDs on the bottom, which you'll well, you should be able to see when it's in flight. When the current goes over 10 amps, which means basically a hover. Um, the lights start flashing and it's also an emergency battery sort of warning indicator. So yeah, let's give it a try. Right, as you can see the lights are working. Like I say, it only actually comes on when, uh, when you take off when the current goes above um, 5 amps I think it is. So when it's actually on the ground, the um, you can see what the NAS is doing. So, see what the power is like. So there you go, it's quite, it's rather visible up there. Right, I'm going to do a run time on it. Um, that's five minutes already.
Right, well, according to that, I've got 13, uh, 13 minutes. The motors, the motors aren't warm. The battery's warm, but not, not hot. So the um, the flight time is the same as a 3S. In fact, I think it's slightly less. I don't know if it's because I've got 9 inch props on or what. Um, I may try the 10 inch. Although I have noticed the 9 inch props, when you're actually descending, it's not as wobbly um, as the 10 inch. So that's purely because of the head speed. Stabilization on. According to this, um, 7189 milliamps used, uh, which isn't right. It's saying it's a 14.8 volts. Now the data. Oh yeah. See, I've set the batteries out completely, and it's still actually got. Oh, excuse me, fell over. The battery's connect, uh, disconnected and it's still got the GPS coordinates, so if it does actually go down anywhere, you know exactly where it went. 114 metres gross altitude. Um, I still don't know what that is. I'll have to have a look. But yeah, it's done.